Assalamu alaikum. Today I will be asking five questions from the recent Friday sermon delivered by Hazur Agdus on the 12th of May 2023. My first question is Hazur recited a verse at the beginning of the sermon talking about trust in Allah. What was said in this verse? We were told by our beloved Hazur that the verse discussed how the Holy Prophet was extremely tender-hearted towards his people. Allah says in the verse that if rather than compassion and kindness, anger and strictness were to be shown, the people would flee. Hazul said that this is why the commandment of forgiving and praying has been given. My next question is, Hazur Agdas elaborated on the three ways of consultation by the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What were they? The first was that when the council was required on a matter, the people would gather, although only the chieftains and leader would speak as the representation for their group. The people were content with this. The second manner was that during consultation, the Prophet Sallallahu would specifically summon those who he thought would give the most appropriate answer according to the matter. The last matter was that if the Holy Prophet Sallallahu deemed it reasonable, he would ask people one by one for their advice. The next question is, what did our blessed Hazul say about the responsibilities of the Shura delegates. Hazur Agdus taught us how the Shura delegates should keep in their mind that every Ahmadi has taken a pledge to stay loyal to the Khalifa. Thus, they must fulfil this pledge to the utmost degree. They must give their suggestions with the purest of intention and reflect on their level of righteousness. My fourth question is, how did Hazur explain the way for Shura delegates of attaining blessings from Allah the Almighty? Hazur explained that for a Shura delegate to attain full blessings of Allah, they should fulfill their responsibilities by vowing to set practical examples. They should act upon their decisions that were made with complete righteousness, in doing so, one can achieve the full blessings of Allah. My fifth question is, how did our respected Hazu teach us to uphold the sanctity of Shura? Hazu discussed how during the Shura, when some people express their opinion, they become very passionate and emotional. Rather, they should express their opinion in a calm and appropriate manner. Saying goes, when budget matters are being discussed, people tend to have very strong opinions. Instead of letting emotions prevail, everyone should listen to the other people's suggestions. Jazakallah.